Hi there guys, this is Oliver Gillis from impartialreviews.com I thought I'd make up this little audio really just to give you five quick tips that you can use straight away to actually reduce your electricity bills and reduce obviously the overall expenditure I mean over here, well in the UK, electricity bills are ridiculously high at the moment you literally do have to sell your kidneys or kids to just to uh, pay for them bills so um, I'll give you five quick tips now that you can put into action straight away to actually reduce them overheads and reduce your bills Right, the first one is to look for direct debit discounts. Um, the majority of energy firms will actually give you up to, uh, it's usually around a 10% discount if you pay your bills by direct debit. Um, and the reason for this is they obviously know that they're going to get their money on time as opposed to obviously having to knock on your door um, or send the bailiffs around. Um, second tip is if you can opt for gas and electricity with the same firm. Um, they call these DD or dual fuel discounts um, and essentially I mean it, it saves them money they only have to send out one bill for your gas and electricity and obviously they're happy for your customer as well to get that extra custom so you'll generally be able to get a lot higher discounts for doing this as well it's usually in the region of about 10% again um, another tip if you're not paying by direct debit or you're not confident in paying by direct debit um, the majority of firms will give you a prompt payment discount so essentially this means that once you get your bill through, you'll see there'll be a date on the bottom of the bill uh, as and when you have to pay the bill by. If you pay it before that time, um, generally again they'll give you, it's in the region of about a 10% discount on doing that. Um, the fourth tip is meter reading discounts. So the majority of firms now let you actually read your own meter and send the actual meter readings in. Um, so essentially you just either email them or phone them in and it saves them money because they don't obviously have to employ meter readers or as many meter readers to, to come around your house and, and knock on your door and, and look at your meter um, so if you can I think the majority of, uh, of big electricity firms do do it now so um, give, give whoever you're with a ring um, find out if you can get that discount because generally they'll give you good discounts for doing that and last but not least um, my fifth tip is household efficiency. Um, it's quite an obvious one, um, but just to give you a, a general example, when you actually put your TV or your stereo or anything like that on standby, it's still actually using around 70% of the energy that it would do if it was actually on and playing. So, I mean, if you can switch stuff off that you're not using, um, and also a good thing to do as well is phone up your energy companies and find out if they've got any free energy saving gifts. Um, I mean, for example, what I'd done was just phoned up um, our energy company, I think we were with EDF Energy um, at the time, and asked them if they could give us some free energy saving light bulbs. Because um, a lot of the firms do that and they sent us eight. Um, so it saves us obviously having to go out there and pay for them ourselves. And, and they do reduce your bills by, well, not that much, but still, it all helps. But, well, I hope these tips helped you. Um, if you want to see some more videos, I've also compiled um, a free report um, which you can find at www.impartial-reviews.com. So head over there and download my free report, um, view a few more videos, and, and if need be, just uh, if you want to contact me or, or about any information, then feel free to email me at admin at impartialreviews.com. Okay, bye.